in this totality. A world has to be created of people, by the people, who have no fear. This fear has to be. Behind all this nonsensical nervousness is fear. So for that, what she does is to give Abhayda. Under her protection you are beyond fear, you are protected. But if you don't want to believe in yourself and you don't believe into her protection, then nobody can help you because everything is mythical for you. In every venture that we take up, we should not have any fear because God is with you, is a fact, is the truth. You just try. But when you try through your ego, you fall into the trap of fear. I have seen egoistical people are the most frightened people and panicked because they panic others and so they think they can be panicked one day. When the English were here, first of all in England, India, we were all frightened of them. Now I see that in England every English family is frightened of others. They only open a chink of the door to see who is there and shut it. They're so frightened, I'm surprised they are the same English who ruled us here and we were so peevish before them and now they are the ones who are frightened of us. Because when a person who is egoistical tries to dominate others, he sees himself in the mirror and thinks that the other person will dominate. That's how this fear creeps, creeps in, into our minds and we start getting all kinds of these stupid tantrums out of this mythical fear. The fear is created by our ego. A person who has no ego, he'll have no fear because he has not harmed anyone, why should you have any fear? And such a man or such a woman will be looked after by God because God takes over. When you s surrender your ego to God, He takes over. But those who have ego, He says, all right, go ahead, use your ego, try to protect yourself, cut your throat. That's what it is. So when I talk of total benevolence, I'm talking about your own total benevolence. So first is the fear, which should go out of your mind completely if you believe in the Almighty God. We'll say, you are Almighty God, you are Almighty this thing, it's all lip service. If you believe that God is Almighty and you are connected with God, then why should you have any fear of anything? But when we say, don't have fear, another extreme comes up. We don't have fear, we can do what we like, we can uh, uh, perform everything ourselves, we need not tell anyone. You have to tell God whatever you are doing. You have to take permission, you have to inform in His uh, Darbar, in his court, that, sir, we have so we are thinking of doing such a system. But you think you are God? You are not. And that's why the another part of non-fear is this kind of an uh, arbitrary behavior which is very dangerous for Sir Yoga, for yourself or for everybody else. <coughs> The second fear, I mean, I have is that if I tell you anything, ninety-nine percent of you understand is for your benevolence, is for your good. But there is one percent of people who can just react because they have too much ego and they won't take it because they don't think of their own benevolence. They don't understand that if I am telling them anything, it is just to give them completeness, totality. But on the contrary, they take a very wrong attitude. This is another nonsense. So now one has to develop a kind of a 
indifference to this kind of people who unnecessarily go to the other limit of their own destruction. I don't want to see what is the point in everything that I'm telling. Only I can tell you who else. I have to tell you what's wrong with you, what you have done wrong, and then you must change it. <laughs>